Hello everybody, my name is João Gabriel Rafaeli. I'm the Organic Gardens Coordinator here at Sunseed and I'm from Brazil. And I'm Marie, I'm French and I used to work here at Sunseed for one year as a garden assistant. So welcome to our gardens. The main goal of our garden is to be an educative and learning space for our visitors and volunteers. And on top of that, we are trying to produce as much food as we can for our kitchen. Uh, the goal is mainly to increase this beautiful connection between food, people and garden. So today we're going to do a tour around Sunseed Gardens, so come to join us. Uh, so here is Diego 1, one of our gardens, and here we have a specific way of doing the irrigation. Uh, this is a traditional old way of doing irrigation in agriculture. So we have here the Aseca line, is the water that comes from the river in that water channel. And once you want to do the irrigation, you just open the pipes and the water flows in between the beds, watering the whole uh, surface uh, and filling up the ground uh, water of the garden. So this is the patch, another one of our garden, and here we have raised beds with Scania structure. And at the moment you can see people are harvesting behind me to prepare our lunch. And right now everything is really green and lush and flowering and it is a really good spring garden. Here we are at Newlands, uh, another of our gardens. Uh, so in this area we are experimenting different ways of doing uh, irrigation and the cultivation of the, the crops. Uh, so as we are in a desert uh, region here, we have to find different ways for trying to produce as much as we can, as, as long as we can uh, during the year. So here we can, is one of the, our experimentation, is the, we planted in the sunken beds. So we plant the plants under the ground. With this we conserve all the moisture and uh, lower temperature for the root system of the plants. So we can have uh, them longer during the year. Uh, and also here we have an example of a traditional way of planting potatoes. So this is how they used to do in the past and it's a matter of us to keep the traditions in agroecology. So this is our greenhouse where there is all our young plants waiting to be grown up enough to go in the soil and we are seeding everything ourselves in our homemade compost. So here we are at the wastewater system. So all the water that comes from the, uh, the houses passes through the grease trap and then gets stored in this big tank for 24 hours. Uh, and then every day we do the irrigation of the trees in the area. So the trees and all the, and this basin with the wood material is gonna act as a filter. So it's gonna infiltrate and the trees are gonna absorb uh, the water. So here are our compost pile. Uh, this is where we recycle our kitchen scrap, transforming them into beautiful compost that will then go feed our garden. This garden is a little bit far from the other, so we are establishing an agroforestry system here. We choose to grow some crops that do not need everyday care. So at the moment we are growing wheat and barley. So yeah, as in this system, we plant crops and trees uh, in the same area. We plant a big diversity of trees here. So the idea in the future when those trees are going to be bigger, they are going to bring shade to the whole area. And with this, you can plant certain crops uh, during the whole summer. So that's it. I hope you enjoy our tour. And if you wish to volunteer with us or have more information about Sunseed, you can visit the website. And thank you. Bye bye. bye.